everyone. Welcome back to another fabulous federalism video. Ooh, that's fun. Fabulous federalism video. Anyway, so this video is going to focus on the changing roles between or the changing role of government in our economy, specifically how the federal government can interact with the states and their economy. OK, so um, in the South Dakota v. Dole case that we talked about in uh, a couple days ago in class, we said that um, South Dakota was trying to get some money from the federal government um, that they had been promised as part of the um, interstate highway funding system. OK, so basically trying to make interstate highway funding or trying to make interstate highways uh, better between states and the federal government, of course, since it was going between states, was going to give funding for that. So South Dakota was like, hey, um, we need that money that you guys promised us. And the federal government said, well, you can have it on one condition. Uh, you have to do what? Raise your drinking age, right? And South Dakota didn't think that the federal government had the authority to make them do that. But in order to get that money that they were promised, they had to raise their drinking age. So went all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, actually, yes, South Dakota, the federal government can make you do that. Because if you want this money, this is the condition. So if you can think back to like that, the one car insurance commercial where uh, the guy is this old guy with his uh, fishing line and he's got like the dollar on the end of it. And he's like, you got to catch it. You got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker than that. And that's kind of what the federal government was doing here with South Dakota v. Dole. So they said, you can have this money. It's right here. But you have to do something in order to get it. So sometimes those are called conditional grants. Other times they're called categorical grants. So it's basically the in order to in order to receive specific funding, you have to do certain things. So certain conditions have to be met. Also, with categorical grants, they can the federal money can only be used for certain things. OK, so in this case, that certain thing was to um, create the, the interstate highway system. OK. The federal government can also give money to the states in the form of block grants. And block grants are kind of just how it sounds. It's like, here's a chunk of money. Please use it wisely. So a lot of times whenever um, block grants are given to states, um, it's like for things like um, education or healthcare or something very broad like that. So you have to use this money for education in some way, shape or form. Okay. Okay. Um, a categorical grant, on the other hand, is has to be you know used for that specific purpose. Okay, so those are the two main types of grant grants uh, money given from the federal government, and federal aid uh, is is something that states are always really happy to get. Right. Um, however, if you were a state, what type of grant do you think you'd want? Would you want a categorical grant, or would you want a block grant? I don't know. I'll let you decide. Okay, that's it on this question or this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know.